Hello, good morning, online guys. Good morning. Very good morning. All of you. Please provide your mail IDs along with phone numbers and the chat box. So this was the second demo. Yesterday, first demo happened. So all of you online guys, please share your mail IDs and phone numbers and the chat box. For to get demo videos and content. I will share with you the demo videos and content to your mail IDs. Okay, sir. All right. Yesterday, so five minutes, then I would like to cover, recap this yesterday's session, what we are discussed yesterday. So these are all topics yesterday we are covered as a first demo. Mm -hmm. Complete the significance of this SQL part. Complete the significance of the SQL part we had discussed yesterday. What is data and data formats? And data storage and storage areas where we can store our data finally. And Structured data presence in databases. What is meant by the database? So why we need to store the data or organize the data in databases only? <coughs> that is, we are covered. So along with this, database, available databases, familiar databases in a market, and SQL part. What is mean by this SQL? Why we required SQL? That is all we are covered yesterday. So, first of all, a data. We should know before going to talk about SQL. So, we need to know about the data. See here, data is nothing but unit of information or it is a collection of information about any object. If we are saying something about 
employee or other card driving license passport number <coughs> so passport number name location or else other card number name location date of birth address this is all information about the data maybe in data in a different formats maybe in a numerical format or a character format so or else in video audio format will be there the data any data if you are taking in a world so the data should be come under three formats one is a structured unstructured and then semi structured data see here structured data unstructured data and then after that is called as a semi structured data it is three formats the data should be there whatever data it is in a world the data should be in the format of three structures okay fine if you want to store something if you want to preserve something why we need to store a data so present what is going on present what is happening if you are not storing then we can't say what need what happened and what needs to be happened then we can't analyze that is what present transactional information what is going on that is must and should then we had to store somewhere else then only then we can <coughs> say what happened storage that is called as a storage area where we can store our data means according to the system we can store our data in two areas files and databases in a file format or in a database so if it is a file format initially they are introduced this files only nowadays lot of file formats are available to store our data structured or unstructured format pdf if you want to store our resume it is in unstructured format so we can place images text everything then we can place it that is called as file format but disadvantages are there whenever if you are having file formatted data more hadoc data or more volumes of data than we can't load it in files that is what we are having here the database system is there this one is called as a database database is nothing but it is a one of the tool so by using this tool huge volumes of data or hadoc data then we can maintain in one place organized collection of information organized collection of data is called as a database wherever we are going to be maintain years and years and years of data that is we call it as a, a database it is most probably whenever more transactions are going on in a business level it's never ever possible to be controlled by this uh, manual process that is what we are completely depending on the systems nowadays so 70 to 80% of all kind of transactions are online transactions only so any transaction or any business it is if you are looking so that is completely dependent on dependent on online lot of online applications then we can see by using those applications we are loading the data into several areas or in different areas we are loading the data so once if we are loading the data from the business through the applications 
Suppose, for example, that is we call it as a front end applications, IRCTC, Book My Show, Flipkart, Amazon, so or banking, anything. If you are taking, they have their own individual applications. Even once if you are entered into the supermarket after purchase the product. So the in the billing system, they have their own application. If they are entered product name, quantity, price, then after that, if they are going to be submit the button, then it is going to be load the data into corresponding areas, databases it will load. That is called as, this is mean by the front end and wherever we are storing our data, that is mean by this back end system it is. It's a back end system and this one is a front end system. From front end, what is going on we are tracking through the application or a manual process then after then we are going to be load in a backend level. Years and years and years, then we can look, keep on load in database level, not only only to load a data. Different purpose then we are coming for the database to maintain the data security or for to transformations, data transformations, data analysis or data migrations or data mining, all kind of techniques we can do it and we can done on data base level. That is what the most of the business, 70 to 80% of the business people or businesses, they are going to be load their data in databases. They are maintain the data under databases only. <coughs> okay, fine. <laughs> there yes instead of a file excel file text file word file instead of the file then we are decided to store our data in a database what needs to be done we need not to manufacture or we need not to do it anything else related to the product so see these are all databases or these are all our organizations. These are all our companies and these are all our databases. Each and every company or every organization, they have their own individual databases. These are all our familiar databases. For what? For to store the data. For to maintain organized collection of data. So suppose if it is a bank is a business, take the bank. So in a bank, a lot of transactions will happen, accounts, loans, insurance, policies, daily transactions, each and every day, lakhs of transactions will happen. These are all if you want to maintain a secure manner in one place, then we require it. So tool is required, that tools we call it as a database. So these are all our familiar tools, Sybase, DB2, NetAgeo, Informix. Who is providing these are all? These are all databases are provided by the IBM Corporation. Oracle, Oracle database, Microsoft Access, so sorry, Microsoft. Microsoft providing access and SQL server. Two databases are there here. All are familiar, but according to the requirement, so then organization is going to be purchased the license from the corporation to use the tool. Same like as our bikes, cars, like that. All people are not going to be purchased the same bike or a same car. As for their requirement, they are going to be purchased. Different models of cars. Car functionality is same. Car functionality won't be where We can travel one place to other place. 
but a lot of manufacturers are providing the car same but features will vary complete here so features will vary the same way here also we are having the databases yes once if you purchase the tool how can we interact with this tool how can we say something what we can do it by using this database by using the database we can do it here load data in a structured manner arrange the data in a structured manner or else maintain the data <coughs> organize the data to provide the security for the data. These are all things then we can do it in database level. But if we want to say something to the database, database only can understood. The language name is called as SQL. Structured query language it is. Initially, they call it as a SQL. IBM Corporation in 1970s, it was introduced for to communicate with so all databases. SQL is common language, ANSI standard language it is. So we can communicate with all databases. We can communicate with all databases. Once if we know SQL, then we can go and we can interact with Oracle, Sybase, SQL Server, Access, Ingress, Teradata to insert the data, to load or to update or to delete or to merge. So a lot of kind of operations. We can request the server. We can request the database. So this is the part yesterday we are discussed. And today, then we'll see the practical implementation. How can we speak with the database? And what is the difference between different databases we we'll see? Database is nothing but a product. If you want to work with any database, must and should we required. So the tool required, database is required here in a system all of you online guys so far who are not shared your mail ids and phone numbers please share your mail ids and phone numbers in the chat box even though if you are attended yesterday please provide today also your mails and phone numbers then only then we can pass to sessions, videos, and materials. Right, see here now. Yes, any database, if I want to work, must and should what we required here is, system is required. Under system, so if you want to as a human or as an end user, if you want to interact with this, mission so what we required here is OS is required operating system is required operating system is nothing but it is a flat form so OS is nothing but a flat form it is flat form is required to be configured or to install our all tools power bi so ssis adf or a data stage, Pantaho, R language, Python language, or a .NET. So anything else, if you want to work, any tool, must and should, we should be configured, must and should be configured, the tool in a platform level, then only then we can interact here. Otherwise, then we can send the request to the SQL server. Otherwise, then we can't, say anything else to this tool that is what here in according to my system i have here two different tools are there so two different databases i have here 
two different databases. What are those? SQL Server database and Oracle database is there. SQL Server and Oracle. Now I want to open two databases. Oracle SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server database, Oracle database, both are installed in my system. <coughs> As an end user, if I want to speak with Oracle or SQL Server, must and should be required here. So one mediator is required directly, then we can't speak with the mission. Direct, then we can't interact with the mission. So by the tool, we, we can go and we can anything else. If we want to say something to the server or something to the database, then what we require here is we require a tool is required. Graphical user interface to communicate with the server that is required. See here now. If you want to communicate with SQL server, Microsoft database name is called as SQL Server. So to communicate with the SQL Server, we required here SSMS is required. See here. This was the tool SQL Server Management Studio to establish the communication between user and server. To establish the communication between user and server. So this was the tool, SSMS it is, SQL Server Management Studio. So by using this server only, then we can communicate with any system, any server, SQL Server. See here, for example, I want to connect with server name is called as, this one is the server name, SQL july 23 10 am it is then go and connect it the ones if we are connected then it is going to be establish the bridge between me and database whatever if i want to communicate then we can go and we can communicate by using the this tool which tool it is this tool name is called as SQL Server Management Studio, it is SQL Server Management Studio. And also, same way, then I want to open here Oracle also in my system. Oracle is also there. Then go and open a Oracle database. So, this one is Oracle database, it is. See now. Pure Oracle, Oracle SQL developer. If you want to interact with the Oracle, Oracle SQL developer is required. See the tool, two tools, two databases. Tools means two databases. Each and every database, they have their own individual tool for to interact or for to communicate with the server. This is a pure Oracle database. And this one is a pure SQL Server database, it is. SQL Server. And this is a Microsoft Corporation. And this is a pure Oracle Corporation database, it is. What is mean by the database? <laughs> database is nothing but to store our data in an organized way, we can maintain or we can govern the data in one place with a pure security. That is, we call it as a database. See here and here structure, the most of the, most probably 80 to 90% of the structure is common for the databases. 80 to 90 percent of these are features. Once if we are go, go and open in Oracle, HR is one database, 
HR is a one database it is. Database is nothing but it is a one of the area container it is. This is a pure container to store our data. So I want to connect with the HR. In a server, Oracle server. So HR is one database. Once if we are connected to the HR, then we can see lot of objects, tables, views, indexes, packages, procedures. These are all by default. We are not created. Once if we are install a Oracle, along with the Oracle, these are all features for every database. For every database, these are all features will come down. Same way your SQL Server also. Go and open SQL Server, one database, and here also then we can see tables, views, procedures, functions. So these are all objects for this database. Simple example, how the database look like means the database look like this. See here. This is my house. Under house, then we can construct a number of rooms for to store the objects or for to maintain the objects. Why we are creating in a house double bedroom, triple bedroom, bedrooms, hall, kitchen. Why we are going to maintain? These are all rooms separately. Why not a single area? If it is a single area, then it is a very difficult to control all the objects in a room or all the objects in house. That is what? So we are dividing the space into number of partitions. So what we are dividing, pure we are dividing the space into the number of partitions. For what? For to man manage or for to maintain each and every object in a different areas. See here, like this it was divided. The house is divided with bedroom, kitchen, hall. All kitchen objects should be there in kitchen only. All bedroom objects should be there in bedroom only. What we are segregating here? Smooth organization. For smooth organization, we are dividing the space into number of partitions, number of rooms. Easily then we can organize the house. If it is not like this, if it is a one space, one room it is. All objects, if you are placing in one area, then it is a very difficult to be controlled. Is it right or wrong? That is what? Then we are dividing bedroom, kitchen, hall like that. Then all objects in house, smooth we can handle it. Same way, here also. House is nothing but server. We call it as a server it is. Then house we call it as a server. Under server. So technically we are calling here. This was the server. Under server. This was the database. Under the database. These are all our objects. Where we are having the objects. Database objects are all in database. Database is nothing but it is a one container to store your data or to maintain your objects. So these are all objects are going to be support for what? For to maintain the data or for to organize the data or for to maintain the security for the data. These are all objects we'll use. Here also same in Oracle also same. Server, this is all server it is. Under the server, this one is particular database. Under this database, then we have all these objects. See now. So 
tables here also the tables are there views indexes functions triggers so sequences all are there here same structure but only the thing is difference is little bit of features will be varied features will be varied suppose for example if i purchased a activa activa features are different bike only that is activa features are different and handley davidson bike features are different more cc double engine more style more fast so these are all will come in royal enfield or in activa more comfort there is no clutch there is no gear and all simple so according to that the same way here also varaki sql server teradata mysql mongodb like this whatever database we are selected to store our data or to organize our data what is going on in business daily so the tool itself the database itself it will provide graphical user interface this is we call it as a graphical user interface it is graphically then we can interact with this tool not by the code yes some sort of drags and drops we can do it here then go and click on this new query window click on the new query window for what for to write a query <coughs> now see here i want to write something here the sql will came into the picture database is ready now then if anything else if we want to say if you want to ask that database then in which format pure in a sql format then see now select start from accounts table so this is my request see this one this is a request it is this one is called as a pure request i am requesting the server bus already somebody else are created a table already somebody else are created a table so then go and extract the data from this table and show me in a graphical format see here how it is showing in a tabular format table format it is showing this is mean by the table so how the account information loaded here we are not load the table somebody else are loaded just now we are going to be retrieve the data from this database what is the question here this was the question this question purely in a format of a sql format otherwise then database can't understand what i am saying this is my request this is called as a user request and this one we are saying is a response user request and response it is user is asking something the database select the star from account table this is object from this he is expecting to see everything all columns information that is the request after write the request what we are doing then go and click on execute f5 execute means it's nothing but so then we are going to be share what we are doing we are going to be share our request we are send the request to the server select and execute so in between of request and response what happened this was executed this command is sent to the server according to the command the server is responding for us this is called as a server response but if you are asking like this 
but not like this and go and get go and get the data from account table see this is a pure english language execute it now no see here, incorrect syntax what it is saying was no. what you are asking me i can't understand clear it is saying must and should it should be in a sql format in a pure syntactical way grammatical format suppose for example english is a language yes we are having lot of words and sentences or letters even if you know english words different words where what when which if you are if we are talking like this there is no meaning yes grammatically we have to speak then only other person can understood what we are saying otherwise it's not possible the same here also this is also the language sql is a language sql language having their own individual grammatical format or syntax technically we are calling it is a syntax it is not only sql c c++ java django python JavaScript, Angular JS, Backbone JS, EXT JS, plenty of languages are there in software. All should have grammatical formats. Must and should we have to follow those? Then here also in Oracle, this server is different and this server is different. In under my system. Oracle is one database. Oracle is one room. SQL Server is one room. In SQL Server, account table existed, but in Oracle database, then here account table is not there. Here, employees table is existed. See, employee table is there. Now I want to see the employee table. Select same command. Here also I am requesting. But object is employees. Same command. Select and click on run button. This is to be executed in Oracle. Click on run. What it is saying? See here. Complete data is going to be arranged in a tabular format. Both our requests are same. Here also in SQL Server also it is a select star from. Here also it is a select star from. But here I want to ask like this. Select star from account table. Go and execute it now. Syntactical error. No, no, no. It's not a syntactical error. The table is not exist. What it is saying is, boss, you are request, requested me as per your request i search on the database but the database not contain account table account table is not there clear it is same and here also in sql server i want to ask select star from employees is a table see this employees table execute it what it is saying invalid object this one is also saying same information. Boss, you are asking me employee table, but employee table does not exist in your database level. Clarity is saying. So this is the way then we can go and we can communicate. With databases. We can speak with the databases. But lot of talks, lot of concepts we have in SQL level to speak with the database. Lot of things are there. While going to interact with the database, while going to interact with the database, we have a lot of things are there in a different ways for each and every operation to insert the data or to retrieve the data 
or to delete the data. So for to speak with the database, yes, we have a lot of things are there. Those are all we are going to be learned in this course by and by. But see here, we'll see whenever if you are going to learn this SQL and who needs to learn SQL part? Who needs to learn this SQL? Who required SQL here means so all developers, see the developers, all developers, developers means application developers, all kind of application developers means who are experts in .NET, Java, PHP, all this, those are required, mandatory, they need to learn SQL part. For what? For to load application data into database or for to get back the data from the database. Flipkart is application. Once if we are going to be set to something else, billions of products will come down. How these are all products information, images, these are all how it is coming, from where it is coming, these are all are coming from database only. And also all business intelligence people who are experts in ETL and reporting, data analysis, data analytics. So these are all tools like ADF, Power BI, SSIS, Informatica, Data Stage, Pantaho, Talent. So all these are all business intelligence tools required a mandatory. So SQL is a mandatory here. Must and should. These people are testing people testers all application tester or a database tester so or as a etl tester or a report tester any kind of tester manual testing must and should they require a sql is required and along with this pure sql developers database developers only database developers these are all people required a SQL part. Without SQL, then we can't work on application, BI, testing, and database level. Along with this, along with the developers, we have here two more roles. So admin. So only pure database admin. This guy is a purely database administrators. And database super admins, these people are super admins. On the top of admins, admins, super admin role will be there. Developer role, database admin, and super admin roles we are having here. But we are in pure developer role. Any developer must and should. We should learn the SQL for what? for to load data or to for to extract data. So for to delete the data or for to select the data. These are all kind of operations if you want to say to the database or if you want to inform to the database, must and should be required. SQL skills are mandatory. Even if you are any developer, application developer, <coughs> or a BI, or a testing developer, so along with your tool, if you are mentioned or not mentioned in your resume or a CV, must and should they are going to be asked this SQL skills or a mandatory, definitely they will ask. Without SQL, there is no interview. 
without sql there is no interviews at least 10 to 15 minutes they are going to be verify your skills on database only that much of importance is there for this database sql part the sql we are going to be land now administrators and super administrators purely related to the databases only to maintain security permissions installations or component level performance these are all done by this backup and recovery process these are all done by this admins and super admins along with this two more roles are there architects database architect or else data warehouse architect so on the top of admin super admin developer these two roles will be there these are all people are just like as a work civil engineers they will provide the plan for us to be construct the database so what is the purpose of this database and how many kinds of tables we require relations we require this is all physical models diagrammatical presentations these people are going to be provide for us just like as a civil engineer these two roles will work and the remaining all work like as a mistress yes once he designed then we have to construct or a pure database developer needs to build complete database tables relations so constraints these are all they need to be placed in database level that is the part we are going to talk here in sql part purely and this course is going to be covered and who are attended today so already i shared the dem content pure in the each and every topic wise content i shared so on video also we are shared to you and today also the same way then i will share with you this demo video and along with this demo content also and this session is the timings it will take 30 to 35 hours it will take so hours it will take daily one hour session fixed timing 8 am to 9 am it is daily and monday to friday daily one hour session will run saturdays depends depends on the availability then we'll take this saturdays and complete near real time project i will explain so complete i will explain to the near real time project after this course completion so if you use all our materials and our documents and our exercises case studies and their fake use these are all if you use then five four plus two five plus experience years of experience then you can you can place in your resume with the combination or a plain sql part so this was my number if you want to speak with me for your career doubts or for course related to the course topics then call me in between of 1 pm to 4 pm 
I will clarify all your career doubts and so subject level doubts or this course level doubts and all then I will clarify. These are all topics we are going to be cover here. SQL and plus TSQL. Programming language and SQL language. Only SQL language we are going to be covered. And I will provide all materials topic by topic. Live video sessions daily and practical materials. And finally, so I will give you interview questions. These questions are more than sufficient to answer once if you practiced well and good. So these questions are more than sufficient to answer in interviews, to crack the interviews. So, and also I will help you on to prepare your resumes. Finally, I will give you the sample resumes, how to prepare. Or else if you want to take any combination Power BI and ADF, ADF with SQL or Power BI with SQL. So I will help you how to place in your resume SQL, pure SQL concept, how can you place along with your resume, then I will help you here. So this was the way the sessions will run in deep, everything will go and will cover so daily. So all of you who didn't share your mail IDs so far online guys, please share your mail IDs and phone numbers under chat box. In detailed data means in detailed content, I will share to your mail IDs. So I will share to your mail IDs in detail content. See this in detail content. So this is the in detail content. What we are going to be covered in this course. So everything clearly I mentioned here. Okay. Then I will share to you. Please go through this content also. If you have any queries. Please raise your queries, all of you, one by one. Akila, Bhargavi, Ishwar, Janardhan. Do you have any questions, guys? Uh, no, sir, I'm good. Very good. So, Kishore, Raghavendra, Ranjit, Sai, Salman. Oh, good, sir. No issues. And Johnny Basha. So, diversity, Sai, yes. Hello. No questions. Yes. Hello. Yes, please. Salma. Tomorrow is a class, is it, sir? Yes, tomorrow. Uh, the regular session will start tomorrow onwards. So the Saturday. Tomorrow the regular session is going to be start. So for further communications and all, my reception will contact you for uh, uh, confirmations and all. Tomorrow we have a session. So installation part, then I will show you. Okay, for oh. the SQL Server database. Okay. At same time, sir, eight to nine. Same time. Okay. Hello. Tomorrow we have a regular session. Regular session is going to be start tomorrow. Thank you, all of you guys. So my reception will get back to you. My team will get back to you today for further confirmations and. Uh, your uh, doubts and all, they will call you and you can speak for further confirmations. Tomorrow, the regular session will start. Thank you all of you guys for to attend this second demo also. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye for today. Bye, sir. Bye, guys.